Hello everyone, welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. In this video, we'll explore the art of retouching skin like a pro using Photoshop. So, let's dive right in. First, take a look at the photo we're going to work on today. You might notice some redness on the skin that we want to fix. Our first step is to reduce this redness. To do that, we'll use an adjustment layer called Hue and Saturation. To do this, navigate to the Adjustment Layer options and select Hue and Saturation. Next, adjust the settings for the reds channel by increasing both the hue and saturation until those pesky dark spots become more visible. Once you've done that, slightly tweak the color range by moving the slider to the left. Finally, reduce the hue and saturation until the redness is gone. Easy, right? Now go ahead and close that adjustment window. But wait, there's a catch. When we reduce the redness, it can affect the color of the lips. To keep those lips looking natural, grab the brush tool and set the foreground color to black. Gently paint over the lips to bring back their original color. Now, let's move on to the next step. Click on the background layer and choose Spot Healing Brush Tool. This handy tool is your go-to for removing dark spots, acne, and blemishes. Just click on those imperfections and they'll magically disappear, leaving your skin looking much cleaner. This process will leave the skin looking cleaner and smoother. Remember, though, use the Spot Healing Brush tool for dark spots. This step is the foundation of skin retouching, setting the stage for more enhancements. Make sure to remove any remaining blemishes. This marks the initial stage of skin retouching, setting the foundation for further enhancements. Once you've tackled the dark spots, it's time to make three duplicate layers of the background by pressing Ctrl plus J. Now, choose this duplicated layer and apply the Gaussian Blur filter. Adjust the blur level to your liking. And don't forget to hide the third duplicated layer. Next, select this layer. Go to Image and click on Apply Image. Make sure you select the background copy layer and set the blending mode to subtract. Don't forget to input those scale and offset values I mentioned. Now, change the blend mode of this layer to linear light and hide it. Click on this layer. Next, let's pick the Mixer Brush tool from the toolbar. It looks like a brush with a twisted handle. Set the foreground color to white. You can do this by clicking on the color swatch in your toolbar and selecting white. Before we start painting, it's crucial to remember these settings, wet, load, mix, flow, and smoothing. You can find these settings in the description below this video. Make sure to adjust your brush settings accordingly. Now, begin painting over the skin. Use smooth strokes and cover all areas of the skin. Don't leave any spots untouched. Take your time and pay attention to the changes in the skin texture as you paint. The Mixer Brush tool does an excellent job of smoothing the skin, giving it a more polished look. Now, 
That's it. You've just learned how to use the Mixer Brush tool in Photoshop to create smoother skin. Remember to check the video description for the specific settings mentioned earlier. Ready for the next step. Unhide this layer and press Ctrl plus I to invert it. Change the blending mode to Vivid Light. Now, let's give the image some extra pop. Go to Filter, select Other, and choose High Pass. Adjust the radius to about 3.8 and hit OK. Then, go to Blur and select Gaussian Blur. Set the radius to around 1.9. To make things even more precise, add a layer mask by holding the Alt key. Choose the brush tool and set the foreground color to white. Paint over the skin, enhancing its appearance, but be careful not to paint over the lips and eyes. The goal is to enhance the skin's appearance and create a smoother texture. Take your time and work systematically, but be cautious not to paint over the lips and eyes. It's crucial to maintain the natural details of these areas. As you paint, observe the changes in the skin's texture and overall look. The Mixer Brush tool is excellent for achieving a more polished and refined skin appearance. Keep refining the skin until you're satisfied with the result. If you accidentally paint over the lips or eyes, use the eraser tool to correct those areas. Let's proceed by unhiding this layer. Next, create two duplicate layers based on this one by pressing Ctrl J. However, it seems that the third duplicated layer might not be appropriate for this photo, so I'll go ahead and hide that specific layer. With these meticulous steps, your skin has undergone a remarkable transformation, showcasing its enhanced and beautifully smooth appearance after being expertly retouched in Adobe Photoshop. As you zoom in to closely inspect the results, you'll notice the fine details and intricacies that have been delicately preserved while achieving a more refined and polished texture. This process not only enhances the overall aesthetics of the image but also maintains the natural essence and characteristics of your skin. To keep all your adjustments in one tidy package, select all the layers except the background layer and convert them into a smart object. Now, take a moment to appreciate the remarkable difference between the before and after images. Your photo looks absolutely stunning, all thanks to these simple yet effective Photoshop techniques. If you found this Photoshop tutorial helpful, please do us a favor and give this video a thumbs up. And hey, consider subscribing to our channel for more awesome Photoshop tutorials. Thanks a bunch for watching this video.